I've seen myself referred to on the backs of some video boxes as a cult actor. One of the fascinating things about George is that he was right there in the epicenter of the independent film movement in the early 70s. George Stover is one of those figures that embodies the entire mania that is cult cinema. He's he's an actor who has been in films from filmmakers like you know like like Don Doler and John Waters. I thought you had been stealing my liquor. I've always been a, a big fan of the Don Doler movies, and uh, George appears in all of them. So I became a fan of him as an actor as well. You got a big mouth, pops. Hey, Brizzo, come on. And we were really excited to have George in one of our films because of just his history in the Baltimore film community. I wouldn't be surprised if. He's been in every movie ever shot in Baltimore, Maryland. There's a small community here, so, you know, he was popping up constantly. <laughs> I was so nervous about meeting George, you know, because I've been watching him in movies since I was a kid. No, stop! George is probably one of the most versatile actors I have ever met. Later, we were able to put him into uh, one of our movies, Attack of the 60-Foot Centerfolds, uh, for Roger Corman, and he came to California. Look out! Where he had the role of a scientist. He was a father of this, like, dysfunctional, I guess you call a murder family. We'll get these organs, and then take care of those two. And in the next movie, he was like this crusading vampire killer priest guy. Uh, you think George would be right for this part? And it's a cross-dressing alien bounty hunter. And he's like, yeah, yeah, George George could do that, no problem. It was really scary when uh, when he was um, shot in the face, when, he, when his house was broken into. And that whole story, I'm sure someone else, I'm sure George will explain that in his own words. Police say local actor George Stover came home to find a man in his home. I need to say this, I'm in the emergency room. One interesting thing is how I got through all this, and it's, uh, Actually, by being a movie fan, believe it or not. Now, I'll explain that 